What the food movement is responding to is the 20th century American way of eating, which is an industrialized food system that focuses really intensively on a couple of plant and a couple of animal species. I'm Dana Goodyear, I'm a staff writer at The New Yorker magazine and I'm the author of Anything That Moves and we're in Pasadena, California. Laurent Kenyu is cooking for us in the kitchen. So we take on like a ramen with a chicken testicles, okay, yeah. with duck confit. So it's the whole reproductive cycle, the <laughs> egg and the... That's right. <laughs> you know? All of a sudden on $250 tasting menus, chefs were presenting Americans with things that have either never been used in a culinary way in this country ant pupae and crickets or and hay and weeds and some of the things we see coming out of the, the Nordic foraging movement. Also parts of animals that we're really unfamiliar with such as um, testicles like we were eating here a moment ago or um, hearts or ears or tails. The foods of poverty were being recast as the foods of the elite and I thought that was fascinating and I wanted to understand, you know, what does it mean that the richest diners in the world are borrowing tricks from the poorest diners in the world? There's a machismo to the food movement. You know, there's a reality show element to it in a certain way, but that, I think, speaks to something deeper and something really valuable about what's going on, which is that people are putting food back in the center of their lives. They're making food and their food preferences and their food experiences part of their social identity. We're going to have sea snails. Yeah. We're going to have some uni, like a, a Japanese uh, yuzu kosho. I think that all of those survivalist techniques, whether it's eating really deep in the animal, eating well on the food chain, self-sufficiency that you see in the canning and pickling movements, to me that all looks like anxiety about the future. Some Americans' institutions have faltered in the past several years and there's a new sense in America that we have to write our own future and some aspect of that is a rejection of this unsustainable way that we were eating for a little more than a century. To me it means that more people care more about their food and that can only improve the food culture. <laughs>